In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what are moving averages? A moving average is a line on a chart that represents the average of prices over a specific time frame. It changes as the price changes in the time frame it represents. Moving averages are technical tools that traders use to identify trends on charts. A 10-day EMA could show an upswing or a downswing. Uh, the 50-day could show a stock under accumulation. The 100-day could show a key level of a pullback during an uptrend. And the 200-day can mark the boundary between bull markets and bear markets. A simple moving average is just the average of prices in the time frame. An exponential moving average gives more weight to recent prices and changes faster when reacting to new prices. So simple moving average is just what it is. A 100-day simple moving average is the last 100 days into price added together and divided by 100 gives you a simple moving average. An exponential moving average gives more weight to more recent prices in its formula. So EMAs change quicker to new prices. They are faster while simple moving averages are slower. But any time frame can be an, a simple moving average or an exponential moving average. Moving average can smooth out price action for trading trends. A moving average can be your filter. If you're in a short-term uptrend, a 50-day can tell you that. An upswing, a 10-day EMA can tell you that. You know, a 100-day and 200-day can tell you in the time frame of 100 or 200 days, the market is in an uptrend if it's over that line. A moving average crossover systems can further smooth out volatility for holding positions during a trend. A 10-day crossing over a 50-day moving average can be an entry signal and you can hold until the 10-day crosses back under the 50-day. This can be a crossover, could be your entry, and then a cross back under can be your exit. You know, this can create a good risk-reward ratio with asymmetric bets, where if you're wrong and it crosses back under, you have a small loss, but if it trends, you stay long and can have a big win. Moving averages are for trading trends and are not useful during sideways markets. During a highly volatile or choppy market that's going sideways, it can cut through a shorter term moving average multiple times. So a big part of creating moving average system is to find ways to manage the volatility. And uh, for people that, you know, believe that moving averages are lagging indicators, you know, all indicators exist in the present moment. There is no future indicators because the future does not exist. It's all measuring what something says in the present moment. But a uh, billionaire trader, Paul Tudor Jones, one of the greatest traders of the last uh, 40 years, he said, my metric for everything I look at is a 200-day moving average of closing prices. I've seen too many things go to zero, stocks and commodities. The whole trick in investing is how do I keep from losing everything? If you use a 200-day moving average, then you get out. You play defense and you get out. You know, Enrons and uh, even uh, market crashes, uh, Bear Stearns, the 200-day was the first thing it lost before the downtrend really got going. You know, for something to really begin to crash and go into an extreme downtrend, it has to go on the 200-day moving average first. So this is the line of the sand that Paul Tudor Jones draws between uptrends and bull markets and bear markets. The legendary trader Ed Sakota's early trend-following systems were based on Richard Donchian's four-week rule and five- and 20-day moving averages. Uh, Ed Sakota is one of our the best performing uh, traders that managed money also over the last 40 years, and he also started his systematic trading when he was using punch cards with computers and and developing mechanical trend trading started with moving averages. Um, moving averages create the potential for big wins and small losses by capturing trends and exiting with a small loss early during a trend reversal. You know, you can enter if price bounces at the 100-day moving average, and then if it closes under it, you can cut your loss and uh, get out with a small loss. But if it trends higher, you can stay longer and find other ways to exit with a, a bigger win. So moving averages are tools for creating asymmetric risk trades in the market. Moving averages are quantified signals unlike trend lines that can be discretionary and based on opinions. You know, if you draw a trend line on a chart, it can a lot of it is opinion and discretion on where the trend line goes for what time period. I mean, trend lines can identify uptrends and downtrends, but a moving average is a quantified number that you can use specifically for backtesting and trading and uh, it actually gives you a quantified number down to the penny of what a moving average is. It is uh, quantified while trend line can be discretionary and opinion based. Uh, moving averages can be back tested for their viability as profitable signals. If you if you like how it looks for a 10 day, 50 day EMA crossover on a chart, you can actually use software and even web based uh, applications to back test and see what would have happened historically had I entered with 
10 day, 50 day crossovers and exited when the 10 day crossed back under the 50 day. And you can go see if that captures trends and manages volatility. You can't do that with uh, trend lines and opinions and predictions. Uh, moving averages can be used as entry signals, stop losses, profit targets, trailing stops, and discretionary trading tools. Uh, you know, you can have the thing if the 10 day cross of the 50 day, you enter. Uh, you can say if it crosses back under, you exit. Those are signals you can actually create off of a crossover system. Uh, stop loss, you can say, I'm going to enter when it dips to the 100-day moving average, and if it goes below it, I'm going to stop out. But if it goes above it, I'm going let it, to let it run and then later create a uh, trailing stop loss with a 10-day EMA if it works out. Uh, so they are tools for uh, creating signals on a chart. These are trend trading tools. You know, these aren't opinions. These aren't predictions. These are tools for managing your trades. Even if you use it discretionary and you move it, move your uh, entries and exits around, you know, based on your um, discretionary trading tactics, you know, they're still tools. You can also just have a pure trend following mechanical system using uh, crossover systems or long term moving averages to to just create a completely mecha mechanical system where you simply follow signals and you can backtest to see if they're viable or not. So this is a great tool for quantifying trading, uh, especially for trends. So uh, if you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications down there. And if you like this and I get enough uh, likes and, uh, and subscribers, I will continue to make more videos. So I uh, hope this was helpful today and uh, have a great day.